Hi Lucy! Hi Trini! I'm very excited by today's Closet Confessions which is long anticipated coats. Oh, finally! Finally, but you know, the reason I put it off is I had to choose my favourite coats and I collect coats like other people collect shoes. Shoes. That would be a good comparative. How many coats do you think you own? Mm, maybe 70. 70? Seven zero. Oh my goodness me. Right, well this better be good. Can I just say, it's the most favourite thing I've ever collected and I've collected these and I have some that are 40 years old. So this is a 40 years of collecting, which means that I've collected on average two a year. Kind of. But can we start Lucy, because I'm interested to know if you can show me a plum pregnancy moment. Oh, I can indeed. Oh, really? Okay. So inspired by the pregnancy film that you did for, for me, but for everybody, not just for me. Um, and I'm wearing, these trousers were your, these trousers were actually yours. They were! They never ever fit me and now they fit you when you're pregnant. Oh my God, what's that say? But anyway. Based on the hairband trick that you showed, I added in a big wide piece of elastic. I was wondering how on earth you were holding them up and how far the zip was going up. Yeah, the zip's not going up at all. I love that trick, Lucy, because you've given so much more opportunity for growth because, you know, hairband only goes so far or a hair clip, but that's really allowed popping out. Yes, definitely popping. And I wanted to maybe add another layer. I just had to take my little leather print <laughs> scarf and um, it's from Zara. I haven't... I haven't um, taken the tag off yet, but what do you think? I think it's effing amazing. I think it's like one of your best looks ever, irrelevant of that you're pregnant or not. I love it. I love Plum and Leopard Lucy. I love the way that you've done the layering. I love the longer shirt. Is that the old Zara Leopard shirt? Yep, Zara shirt. Brilliant. Yeah. And I thought lots of ladies at home might have some of those items. And even pregnant or not pregnant, really good look. Very inspiring, darling. Thank you. So I'm just going to start with a caveat, all right? I've got quite a few coats on this rail. You can choose from your lifestyle and who you are as a woman, which coats you think you really need and where of these 10 categories that I've chosen, you might think that's a gaping hole for me. I'm not suggesting everyone should have 10 coats. I've got like, an evening coat, a coat that feels like you've just got out of your duvet, a coat that's your best colour, a coat that brings brightness and fun, the classic black coat, a raincoat, all the kind of categories that we think about. All right, so I'm going to start with, darling, you know this well. Is it Smythe or Wild? It's Smythe. Thank you. You've had to write that so often. But this is a coat, and what was really interesting is it didn't used to be exactly this design. It had two buttons. And the second button made me look short-legged. It's difficult to imagine that because I'm wearing a dress, but it just took the eye line down here. So I took out that second um, button, I took it off, and I just um, ignored the second hole. It's still there, but you don't notice it. And I know this is your favorite coat. Yes. And also it's yes. your favorite outfit because I know you wear this when your back is bad yes. and it makes you feel good. Yeah, that is so true. I do when I want comfort and yet I need to feel sparkly because I'm feeling so shit inside. This is that outfit for me and this is my best blue. So I wear this coat endlessly. I never wear it with black because it's such a joyful blue I try to avoid it. You're right, it's my most comfortable outfit. The dress is Zara. What makeup are you wearing with that, Trini? Oh, I'm, you know what I'm wearing with this because it's so nice with it is I did sheer shimmer in Nicole, Naughty Nicole. And I liked the fact that it had that sort of pinkiness and just softness and it gave a little bit of glamour. Next outfit. We're now talking um, faux fur. Oh, I love this coat. This is Shrimps and she was like, she invented chic, fabulous faux fur and then everyone on High Street and designers copied her, but she is the originator. I've just realised actually I always do it with a bright lip. Oh, of course. Yeah. That's very chic. I must say. I always do a red lip, like this Swainy Lip Lux, which is a tomato -y red, with white. You know, those watching, if you have no idea if you're olive or, or what suits you, I have to just say, 
do match to me at Trini London because it gives you the incredible palette of the makeup colors that suit you. And you put in your skin, hair and eye color and it tells you. And it took me a long time. Like I always, Lucy, wore the wrong shade of red. And since I discovered this is my shade, you know, now an outfit like this, I just feel it gives it that instant glam. I feel fun. Trousers really old Zara. Trainers, oh, can I tell you? Russell and Bromley said, we're reopening our store on the King's Road. We want to send you a pair of trainers. I must have bought eight pairs of trainers from them. Um, so I thought, okay, I will accept a pair. And they've made these just for the King's Road store. And it says 28 out of 100. Oh, cool. Yeah, they are. Okay, next coat. So darling, this is the latest addition to my coat collection and it's very on me. Why is it on you? It's very on me, apart from when I was about 16, I borrowed my father's covered coat, which was exactly this size in navy. So it has a kind of lovely memory of my dad, but this is like the idea of a man's coat. It's about having a coat with a really bright I'm here color. I got this coat because I saw it, it's Balenciaga. It wasn't even in the sale. And I got it on with Serena Beauty top and bottom. I love the pink stripe repeating. So Trini, if you did, if you were a bit more curvy and you had big boobs, how could you wear this look? This look is not for somebody, I think, who is curvy with big boobs. There's certain looks that are, but I think this look is very much when you're somebody who loves that sort of androgynous dressing. And I, I love that androgynous dressing. So it's gotta be a style you love. But I think the point of this category is have a bright coat in your life to give you sparkle when you most need it. This is about the duvet. This for me is the most cozy at Zara, but I chose this as my cozy coat because it feels like a dressing gown, but it's a coat. And you've done a scarf to match as well. No, this is what I've done here. So my new favorite has to be burgundy and orange. And then I was given a red scarf and I don't really wear red near my face. And I did a cold water dye and it turned this beautiful shade that I wanted it to be. Well, I didn't know where I wanted it to go. I just wanted it to be not red. And I think I did it. I think I put the blue in and we got here. Oh, wow. As a result, it goes really well with the coat. I love this. I could walk out on the street now. Yeah, you look warm. It's seasonal. Really nice. Might be on eBay, Lucy. Yeah, I'll have a look. You'll have a look, won't you? Okay, Lucy. This is my, what I would call my tinfoil coat. If I lost it, I would be so upset. It is actually from Osman, which is a lovely designer. There's a few things around this coat though. It's a bit big, so I've got a safety pin in the back. You know, on a day I'm shattered. So many times I've done personal appearances in this because I've had a long schedule and I've, you know, had to get up at 5 a.m. to take a train to go and greet some ladies. And I wear this and first of all, they know where I am, which I love, because then they say, oh, that's gotta be Trini. Um, but also it, it reflects, it's like a little light reflector to put the best element of light in your face. Yeah, what's it made of? It's made of leather, I think. And then I lost the belt, which was a killer. I lost the belt. And then two years later in Essentials Antwerp, I found this and it's got the crinkle element. So this is also a little message about what belt, what coats look great with a belt, but just to add a style element and make sure you define your waist in something that otherwise can appear a little shapeless, especially for hourglass women, do consider if you have a coat where you can put a belt over the top. So Trini, what do you do when you, you've worn your, your belted coat to a restaurant yeah. and you yeah. get there and you take it off? Where do you put the belt? Do you put in your handbag? Very good point. Generally, when I've done the belted look, I think I've never been in a situation where I take it off. Or I do what we won't even do on this time because it's too much. I'll do the double coat moment and the internal first coat will have a belt and the second coat won't. So Lucy, this is something that lovely Molly, who joined us a while ago and works behind the scenes on getting everything ready for me. She chose this as an outfit and I initially went, ooh. And then I found it really interesting and it was because we didn't know which bright colored coat to wear. And I always do my bright colored coats with colors that they're like. And this isn't, this is such a contrast, but I think Molly took the inspiration from that Zara jumper, which had that neon yellow with the plum. I think this is stunning. Molle! It is actually, I'm looking at it thinking, Jesus, that's good. So this is nothing about, is this one of the coats you should have? This is another bright coat. It's just because I love bright coats, but it's a styling moment, really. And what about makeup? What would, lip would you put with this? I've got Emily Sheer Shimmer on. I was thinking, would I just do a bit of munchkin? 
bring in some darkness to that. But I think it needs that depth of colour with the neon, because neon can really wash you out. Anyway, good choice, Molly! Okay, Lucy, this is slightly different for me. We're trying new things here. This is about the black coat. So I've done it with black, which I hardly ever do. But there's a softness about the top, which is this furry thing from Zara. So it's very high-low. It's Givenchy and Zara. So the coat is Givenchy. I just want to talk a little bit about black coats because I think it's the coat most people have more than any other coat. Yes, definitely. Because it kind of, you know, traditionally it goes with the most. I buy really inexpensive coats which are not black, but when I buy a black coat, I have only ever bought a designer black coat, whether it's in a sale or secondhand or new. I'm not buying it for the blackness, which is my best shade. I'm buying it for an unbelievably clever cut. And it gives me a very nipped in waist like that. This, this coat is exquisite and I know it would have still cost a pretty penny despite being in the sale. So is there anywhere, if you didn't have that kind of budget, is there anywhere that you could recommend on the high street? It's about cut. So you've got to look at your body shape and you've got to think, what do I need to still show off even in a coat? You know, find your shape and see where do you need the winching in and where do you need the length to end so it feels good. And then underneath, I do love what Molly did again, because this was in my pile, Lucy, downstairs to get rid of. Molly came up with, <laughs> with it when she was looking around the house. She said, what about this? So I'm looking at this thinking, that's cool, I love that. And then I'll show you off because it is actually Zara at its best. Copying Prada, Prada did this a year before Zara, but I love that little sexy keyhole. I love the fluff around here. Okay, next, we've got three more to go, Luce. Lucy, I'm starting now without a coat on. This is about the coat that I think should be the hardy perennial in everyone's wardrobe, like more than a black coat. A leopard print coat, an animal print coat. It is just so versatile. I wear it with jeans and a t-shirt. I'll wear it with an, uh, an evening dress like this. I wear it with dark colors. I wear it with light colors. I wear it with bright colors. It's versatile and it's more versatile to me than a black coat. So whenever I don't know what to wear, you know, I buy a new dress or an outfit and I say, oh, I need a coat for this. The leopard print coat always cures it. I've got to say with leopard print, I've never had to resort to thinking I should buy it designer. I've always found fantastic versions in the high street. You've seen this on me. You've seen me do this. This is not for everybody. I just want to start that. This is like if you're somebody who is a sequin lover, there is nothing more enchanting than a sequin coat. This is more of a, a summer vibe, right? It is a summer vibe, but I would do it perhaps. It's the one thing I might wear with like black underneath or white underneath. I keep it monochromatic. I don't wear this often with color. I might do, but I haven't yet. It's um, from Alice Templey, but I have another one from Nasty Gal, which I got as well, which was, is, is like nearly not too dissimilar, but this is much more weighty. Yeah, I mean, you could definitely, you could layer this. This could be a double coat moment, couldn't it? Oh, now you're talking. But it's so long, I would have to find. <gasps> but the only coat I have that long is a black coat. This is my Zara black coat. Um, and I'm just going to see if that's going to work. I love that loose. And then I'll push it up. So you'd have that sequin moment there. What a nice flash. What a nice surprise. People. And that little bit hanging out the bottom. Oh, I like that. Bit of shimmer, a line of shimmer. So this is the perfect day to night, Lucy, because I, during the day, keep the, keep the coat on, you know, blah, 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 blah. And then night, off it comes. I might take off the jumper underneath. I might just do a deep, sexy V, a bit of a red lip, and I'm ready. Final coat. I didn't have a raincoat for years because I could never find one I liked. And then I found this at TK Maxx which is what I would define as my Dracula vampire raincoat. Wow, and that is gonna keep you dry. This is from Balenciaga in Kensington High Street, TK Maxx, for 95% off the original price. Because it is like you're wearing an entire umbrella, but you know when you have umbrellas and, and everything around your bottom half gets wet. I just close up shop and nothing absolutely gets wet. So I think the lesson in this is when it's raining, find a raincoat that brings you joy. Find a raincoat that brings you joy because 
Raincoats are traditionally the most tedious things. It's very rare to get a raincoat that is functional and looks beautiful. You know, usually they look like a lovely trench, but my God, you're gonna get wet. Darling, so that's that's a coat moment. I know it was a slightly mad moment. I bloody love coats and I, I just think they they can bring tremendous joy. And when people see them as a burden, they need to go through those coats and cull the ones that do them no favours and think how they can tweak ones, Lucy, that they could bring some new life to. But that's what this January is about, I think, with our closet confessions. It's going to really be going in and thinking, what can I do with my existing wardrobe? Yeah, definitely. We had some really nice suggestions, actually. Um, and I know this probably works well for January. It's things like how to shop smart on a budget and um, clothes that you've bought online. So maybe taking a look back of uh, what, what you already have. And yeah. also people still aren't getting out to the shop so much. So how do, you, how do you shop online and how do you know what to buy? What I might try and do that could be an option is, is what are those essentials? I definitely think that's great, how to shop really. So um, anyway, we've got a few more before Lucy's off to have her baby. Um, and darling, I'll see you next week. And ladies, you write below what, which um, choices you'd like. And if you have new choices, you throw them in there because we get through everything in the end, Lucy, don't we? We do, yeah, we do. Yeah, all right. Bye darling. Bye.